Now we need to prove that Laplace of cos AT is S divided by S square minus A square. So first of all, what is cos AT written in terms of exponent? So uh, we can write uh, cos of uh, X first. So cos of X is written as E power X plus E power minus X divided by 2. So if I were to write the expression for cos of AT, that will be e power a t plus e power minus a t divided by 2. Then I will take Laplace on, take Laplace transform on both sides. I will get Laplace of cos a t being equal to Laplace of e power a t plus e power minus a t divided by 2. So this 1 by 2 will come out. I will be left with Laplace of e power a t plus Laplace of e raised to power minus a t. Uh, this is 1 by 2. Now Laplace of e raised to power a t is 1 upon s minus a. This time I will be using direct formula. In the previous video that of uh, Laplace of shins of a t I proved that and now I think you can easily do that. So 1 upon s minus a Laplace of e raised to power minus a t is 1 upon s plus a. Moving ahead with the simplification a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square. Then we write here s plus a plus s minus a. Okay, so this is 1 by 2, a and a gets cancelled, you are left with 2s divided by s square minus a square, 2 and 2 getting cancelled, so you are finally getting that Laplace of cos of at is given by s divided by s square minus a square. And in the last video we proved that Laplace of shinch of at is given by a divided by s square minus a square. Okay, a basic question. You already know the Laplace of e raised to power a t is 1 upon s minus a. So, just uh, the basic ideas we used and we reached up to the proof.